friends, thank you so much for joining me. If you have not subscribed, would you please go ahead and throw a subscribe on here, click on the like button, and please put a comment, whether or not it's good, bad, or ugly. I'll take whatever at this moment. It all helps the YouTube algorithm put my video in front of more people. Also, if you have not clicked uh, the notification bell, please do that so you're notified for future videos. I appreciate it and have a great day. Bye-bye. Well, I thought I was recording, but evidently not. I got these things from the Dollar Tree. I got the pool noodle forms for this. This is a Pottery Barn dupe. Made the X and the O, but I did buy eyelash uh, yarn off of Amazon and made these. I'm super proud of them. I think they look really, really good. Um, like to put on a sofa or somewhere else. Anyway, I got several gnomes and I made this from a glass vase that I mixed in baking soda with the, with the paint to make it have a texture. Several different little picks in here and put a little bird in there. This is a glass vase. Then I bought a glass jar that had a lid and it happens to fit this, which is awesome. So I made a candy jar. I bought a roll of this tool. I could use that at Christmas as well. They have several round wooden bead wreaths. Some are square beads, some are round. They're white, black, stained, unstained. And then at Valentine's, they brought out the heart, which I thought was cute and I liked it unstained. This is by far my favorite. I love, um, I love this super cute, good quality candy jar, five quarters. Here's some signs that I had hanging around. You know, some of them are a little cheesy. I might not have them at my house. Maybe, I don't know. But for my classroom, yes. I used a few of these things on tear trays with some other stuff that I have over there. And then I also have bought all of these picks from the Dollar Tree and I bought all these picks from the Dollar Tree and the um, galvanized tin. Had this filled with candy for the students. So now it's time to put it away. Time to start putting out Easter. I realized I never had any pictures of my Valentine stuff put up, um, only the, when I was putting it away. So now I'll do my Easter. Pretty much everything's from Dollar Tree. These, these are so much more on Amazon, different flocked bunnies. I'm thinking, I think these were $1.25 ones. I don't think they were $3 ones. It, actually, I take that back. These might have been $3 ones. Got all the flowers and the galvanized tin from Dollar Tree. I got the form and the rope from Dollar Tree. And then I did a DIY I got from uh, YouTube. This was a $3 gnome. This was a $5. I need to get tape to tape this down, double sided tape. This was a $5 Dollar Tree item. Kind of fun though. And then this was a $3 egg that, I mean, look how cute that is. Look how cute that is. I love it. Then I got this egg garland for $3. Love that. Ah! Okay, now I've got this egg garland. Ooh, I need to fix this. Here we go. Gotta get it right. This was $1.25, $1.25 for each of these. They have brown bunnies and white bunnies. And then I got this. This might have been $3. So anyway, there's my Easter stuff. I have some other signs around the classroom, but that's all I'm gonna show right now. This is also part of my Valentine's decor. This was slash Easter. So I used this for Valentine's. These are two pink trees that I kind of wove together. So you can't tell, so it looks a little fluffier. Those were each $1.25. This is a little tree skirt that I just used from a microfiber towel in the automotive. This was a Christmas wreath, which is obviously not from the Dollar Tree that I had. Got the sign. This is Dollar Tree, this is Dollar Tree, this is Dollar Tree. And I made those back there. But anyway, I like the cute little garland with the flowers. Anyway, that's just one little area for Easter. Mm -hmm.